Could be leading it. Alla says to me, well, you want to put some talking powder on that, it'd be blinding, folks. It's nice, isn't it? Anyway, hello. Morecambe against Sheffield Wednesday, match preview. I think them words have ever come at me gob in that order. Morecambe against Sheffield Wednesday. Do you ever do that thing when you say a word and you think to yourself, have I ever said that word before? Have I got to this stage in my life and never said that word before? Because it feels very funny coming out your gob. Well, sometimes I'm the same with phrases. I wonder if I've ever said that phrase before. You know, it's like a, a gold seam in a mine that's never been dug up. You know what I mean? No human hand has touched it in millions of years. This is just as rare. Morecambe against Sheffield Wednesday. Sorry. Right, anyway, hey, Morecambe. Unfancied this season, most folks have, have got them for a drop, I think. But they actually, they actually had a great start because they got a 2 0 draw with Ipswich. They then went and played Blackburn in League Cup, beat them. Then they beat Shrewsbury 2 0. So, all going well. Then they dipped to Rotherham. Now, Rotherham's a decent side, as we find out ourselves at weekend, you know. When they're on it, they can be a useful outfit in this division. Then they lost to Gillingham in league as well and then in week they plummeted out at cup they got a bit of a, a 4-2 pace team by Preston so I don't want to say they've been found out but that very positive start they had hadn't lasted very long before the bubble burst so what have Wednesday got to look out for well I've been having a look and I'd, I'd only actually heard of one of their players and he's like goalkeeping coach Barry Roach he was uh, at Chesterfield for a while weren't he not really heard of any rest of them. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying you know, no discredit to them, but they have got a centre forward, Stockton, they call him, who's banged six in six in all competitions. Don't matter what level you're at. If you've got a striker that's scoring a goal a game, you've always got a threat, haven't you? They've also been conceding at least a goal a game. So, played five, conceded five. So. I think Wednesday will score, I think we've got a chance. They play 4-3-3, which is the same system that we play now. It's not changed that in the six games they've played so far. Whether they'll change it to play Wednesday, I don't know. It might be a case that he's like, this is how we play, deal with it. And I think that'd be foolish from his point of view, because I think Wednesday will deal with it. They've got two teams that play the same formation, nine times out of ten. The team with the better players will win that encounter, won't they? And Wednesday, I've got the better players. There's no arguing with that. So I wonder if you might tinker with it a bit. Like I said, they've got the main centre forward, this Stockton character. I don't even know what side, type of set forward he is. I don't know if he's a right handful who bangs him in from 25 yards or whether he's one of them that you don't see for 89 minutes and you sort of forget about him and then bang. We're marking him. Where's he come from? Have you not? I never noticed him missed it game. Is he one of them? Don't know. But a one, uh, you know, goal game record. That's something to keep an eye on. I don't really know how they play, but I know one thing. I think Rotherham have now set the precedent for how all teams are going to play against us when we go to their place, which is they're going to try and stop us playing front back. Rotherham did it. I thought he might have said in that other video that they might put a squeeze on us and, and try and stop us playing front back. And that proved to be the case uh, for large spells. But I think Darren Moore knew it would because he put Big Patterson on the right hand side so that when Peacock Farrell were having to go on, we got somebody to try on it. So I think that was quite smart thinking there from Darren Moore. Big lad playing out wide against a usually smaller full back. So that, I don't think that was too bad an idea. Uh, Yes, yeah, so they're 4 3 3, we're 4 3 3. How are Wednesday going to line up? Well, possibility of a couple of changes. Uh, Dunkley may, may make way for Hutchinson. Uh, although, if Sam needs a rest, give him a rest. You know, I thought Dunkley had a great game against Rotherham. You could say it was the sort of game that suited him lots of heading, challenging, physical, shoulder to shoulder. I, I thought he was fantastic. I don't, I don't think he's really got much credit for it, actually, but. Thought he had a terrific game. So if Hutch needs another week, let him have another week. Don't you know we're in a position where we don't have to rush people back. The other change we might see a Denner in back in midfield, depending on Luongo, and it'd be a massive shame if he were missing because that second half he was superb. 
And it's ironic, like I said, he's gone in there to do the, the audible job, mopping up, winning tackles, second balls. And Rotherham, ironically, got so weighed down, we're trying to keep Wing and Bannon quiet. Just afforded Longo a little bit more space, he actually was getting his passing going and starting things going. So, went in there to do one job and ended up really doing another one very well as well. Including that brilliant pass for Patterson's goal. That is a great ball. Keep watching it again. I love it. Um, so I hope Mass is fit because he was out all last season. A, a big blow. And then Paulis forced him to play when he weren't, you know, I ain't got a choice. Well, you have. Pick somebody else. Do you know what I mean? We, we, that's setting back. I mean, I don't really want to talk about that, but it's a, a grim time. So Byers could come in. Uh, obviously a real good ball player. Uh, especially going forward and when we're trying to break teams down. Uh, but I, I think I think we'll see Dennis the Menace back in his uh, midfield spot, which is which is where I'd like to see him play. Up front, Gregory, Camberi, who's going to start? Well, Dad and Moore's mixed it up so far. Is that because he's looking at their skills as an individual and aligning it to the opposition of the day? Or is it because he's giving them both game time because he wants to build them both up to... You know, 100% match sharpness. Truth is, it's probably a bit of both in there, isn't it? Getting them both up to speed and they're both playing well. So, I think it'd be more or less be the same team. In terms of result, Wednesday's still not going to see the goal yet. Um, but these have been scoring. I've, this could be. You've got a kid who's got 6-6. Six if you've got some dudes that sharp, who's on fire like that, the players have these runs, these purple patches. If you've got some dudes in that sort of form, you can't take it off them for a second. And that's all it takes is one split second. And there's been a couple of times uh, against Fleetwood, Rotherham, we could have gone behind, not including the penalty. Uh, but we've been breached this weekend. But I think if anyone's going to do it, it might be a club like this, uh, a fixture like this, where we just take us off ball a little bit, maybe. Um, I hope not. I hope, I hope them clean sheets keep coming. But I think Wednesday will have too much for them in midfield. Uh, and these little signs going forward, little things. I mean, that's a great cross from Patterson for Canberra. Uh, behind the defender, facing his own goal. It just gives him... He doesn't have to break his stride. He, I think there's just some little signs that things are, are coming together up front. I'm not saying it's gelled. But there's just them little moments of understanding people making runs and being found without having to, you know, make a big deal of it. Little flicks, and I think that's coming. I mean, I'd take any win. I'd take any point, actually, to be fair, on the road. But I've, I've got a feeling it'd be another Wednesday win. I think we could get two or three. I genuinely do. I think we could get two or three because the confidence coming out of the camp, you know, the players are talking about winning title. Now, usually players are just like, yeah, we want to be there or thereabouts end of the season. And they don't want to say anything, do they, in case it comes back to bite them on the ass. But these are just saying it, yeah, we want to win title. And it's, in a way, it's really refreshing, isn't it? And it's great to hear. And it gives me a lift, it gives you a lift, give everybody a lift. And the results that they're getting are sort of powering that. So, yeah, I think it'll be another Wednesday win. I think maybe two or three. Just that little question mark whether these might be the first team to breach us. I think it'll be a tool goal margin. I think it'll be a 2 0 or a 3 1. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, let me know what you think we're going to do. Um, and I'll see you on Sunday. We'll have a brew and we'll have a look at it. Come on, Wednesday. Obviously, come on, Wednesday. Why am I saying that? This is a, a channel dedicated to Sheffield Wednesday. Of course, it's come on, Wednesday. I think that egg custard's got stuck. Oh.